guy in Raleigh this week, Kevin Weeks, right, uh, made a really big announcement on Twitter earlier in the week um, about becoming a U.S. citizen. Everyone supporting him and, and, and talking a lot about it. And we're going to talk to you in just a second, but uh, we want to watch this story and how uh, it all got up to this point. On April 27, 2002, the Hurricanes were a win away from advancing to the second round of the NHL playoffs for the first time since arriving in North Carolina. Standing in the way of the second round, the New Jersey Devils, the same team that sent the Canes home from the playoffs the season before. Kevin Weeks was installed as the starting goaltender in Game 5 and helped deliver a dramatic 3-2 overtime win as he made a huge save on John Madden before Joseph Vosicek's game winner. A stop! The rebound! What a save again! Kevin Weeks! Kill on the walk. Centers walks. Winona. Vosicek scores! Poised to send the Devils home in Game 6, the Canes would lean on Weeks again, and the goaltender delivered a performance for the ages. The Hurricanes scored on the power play midway through the second period, and Weeks would handle the rest, kicking aside 32 Devils shots en route to a 1-0 series-clinching victory. The Canes would advance in the playoffs for the first time, and in just his second career playoff start, Kevin Weeks delivered a performance that stands out forever in Hurricanes postseason history. And Kevin Weeks, such an important part of Kane's history, the 25 years of the team's spectacular run here in Raleigh. Kevin, welcome back to Raleigh. Kevin is now part of the ABC and ESPN team. He's the NHL hockey analyst for ESPN. You're part of the broadcast tonight. So how does it feel to be back here in West Raleigh tonight? Incredible. It feels incredible. I love being here in NC. I'm always grateful to North Carolina. A lot of people may not know, but I started my pro career just up the road in Greensboro as a snotty year old, you know, 19 and a half, 20 year old kid coming down to Carolina. As a kid that grew up loving the great Michael Jordan, playing in his state was awesome. But being back here in front of the Canes fans is a huge, huge honor. They were great to me. They were great to my parents and my sister at the time. And I'm happy to see that they're Stanley Cup contenders under my former teammate, the great Rod Brindamore as head coach. I love that, Kevin. I want to ask you a very honest question. Talk about, I know, one of the reasons they had the stadium series to open the sport up to people that don't often look into hockey and see hockey. How do we diversify the sport to make people that look like you and I get interested in the sport? Great question. One thing that we've always tried to do is really showcase a lot of stories because everybody has a unique story in the game. And truth be told, even in our time with the Canes, we had a lot of people of different backgrounds that worked in the organization, some of them still in the organization. Uh, and, and that was really cool because I felt they were very progressive. And that's something that's very important. You have to have a progressive mindset to be very inclusive, just like we are here for the greater fans at large. A lot of people, I'm from Toronto, so a lot of people in uh, Carolina, we don't really know. When they came down for the playoffs, their eyes opened up. A lot of people around the world, their eyes will open up here again. So I think it's really important to continue to be very intentional, be very inclusive, be very open-minded, so a lot of girls and boys and people from different denominations, different backgrounds can enjoy this great game. All right, one more question, and this, I'm first of all, surreal. I watched him play in that game, and now I'm standing Thank next you. to him. But playing on this ice as opposed to a traditional arena, how challenging is it going to be for the goalies tonight? It's different. I just spoke to Freddie Anderson, who I've known a long time. I just spoke to him before the game. He said the ice, the ice feels good. But yes, your depth perception is different because you're in a football stadium here at Carter Finley. It's a little bit different. Your angles could be different. The lighting, the fans, the sound of the fans, because it's multi-sensory when you're playing, right? It's a multi-sensory thing when you're playing. But all that to say, hey, come on. You're buying hockey cards at the local convenience stores. The kid just hoping to play in the National Hockey League. For a lot of these folks, staff, and players, they're so pumped up to play in this game in front of the Kaniacs with the world watching Raleigh. Yeah. This is going to be awesome. So uh, they're very, they, listen, the Canes are a Stanley Cup contending team. They're not looking for excuses. They're all about solutions. And they want to bring the Stanley Cup back here to Raleigh. Kevin Weeks, so great to have you back thank with us. Thank you. My honor, my pleasure. We'll thank be watching you, you on the ABC broadcast thanks. in a few minutes. Thank you so much. And thanks all the great Kaniacs out there. Love to all of you. Thank you. Great to see Kevin back here uh, in North Carolina. Kevin, thanks.